Right, what's up guys? We're out here in a little creek um, and what we're using today is just a simple setup. It's a rod and then on the end is just a small red hook with a few salmon eggs on it. And we're uh, looking to get some native brook trout that are in this little stream. <clears throat> and I've seen I've seen a few swimming around already and we um, got here about three minutes ago and I already caught one. And I'll show you that real quick. I already caught a decent one there. So we're going to... Uh, we can see how many more we can get and then we'll go back and cook them up for you. Alright guys, we didn't get this one on film but we just caught one. He was up under this um, kind of build up of sticks and leaves on top of the water from the bridge. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. Let me get him up. All right, got him. There he is. That'll be another good one. Another good one. So we're going to toss him in the cooler and see if we can get another one for you guys. See if, whoa. <laughs> see if we can get one on camera. All right, let me get him in the cooler. Yes. All right, there we go, guys. Just pulled one out of this little deep hole right here. Oh, he's flipping around a lot. That was instant. I dropped it down, and right as we started recording, he bit. So that's a good one. Nice. I saw another big one in here, so we're gonna rebait and see if we can get that one too. So we'll get back to you in a minute. Got another one, boys. Nice, actually a decent one, too. The colors on him. Gorgeous. He was just sitting up under the bank. When the bait came by, the Sam eggs came by, he grabbed it. Nice. Alright, another one for the cooler. He was huge. Alright guys, I got one on. A little guy, so I think we're just gonna let him go, but uh here we go. Yeah, he's a really little guy. Check this out. Beautiful little fish. So I'm just gonna get him off the hook and then oh, there he goes. Alright, there we go. Pop the hook out. We go. All right, let's get the release right there on this guy. All right. There he goes. Right back in the stream where he came from. All right, guys, we got another one on right here. Right here at the bridge. Hold on. Right. A decent one. It's a good size one. So. There we go. Pop the hook out. Now, I'll decide if I want to keep this one or not. Five's the limit, so this would be my last one that I could keep. We'll, um, we'll see in a minute. So, we'll get back to you. If we get anything else, 
or when we're uh, ready to clean them up. All right, guys, we're coming down to the water. Decide to let this last one go. All right here, this guy. I'm just gonna get a little uh, release on him. Let him. And there he goes. Right back into the creek. All right, guys, so we're gonna go back to the house, I'll show you how to clean them up, and then we're gonna cook them. There we go, guys, so we got a. Uh, we have our fish on the table. I cleaned this one. This head's right there. That one's all ready to go. Got these few. This is the best one we got. This is a good one right here. It's a good little brookie. Native brook trout. So I'll uh, I'm gonna get cleaning and in a minute I'm gonna show you guys how to clean it and get it ready for the frying pan. Alright, so I'll let you know when we when we're doing that. Alright, so guys I'm gonna show you how to clean these trout right here. So I'm just using this paper towel because they're a bit slippery and it's easier to grip them. Alright. Here we go. Just grab them like this, get them in your hand. You can come a little closer. Then you stick the tip of the knife in the hole right here. And you want to cut up the entire stomach of the fish. Just cut the skin all the way up through here, all the way to the top here. Just get it all the way out. Alright, so then what you want to do, just like you would fillet a fish, you want to cut behind the gills and you want to make sure you cut up so you get all the meat and then cut down all the way through there you can see you don't really need too much to do this because I'm using a pocket knife right here flip them over do the same on this side cut up in here and down all the way blow that thin alrighty then what you do is you flip them like this and you cut down right here where the two cuts meet on the top of the head just cut r just through the backbone, but not all the way. Take them, just pull, and all the guts come out with the head. So you have all that. And then what you have here is a just the body of the fish, completely gutless, and you have the bloodline, obviously. So you just got this water here. You just push the bloodline out with your thumb. Just get it all out. Make sure it's nice and clean inside, and then uh. That is it. It's as, it's as simple as that. So all you do now, you take them, grab a new paper towel. I'm just gonna dry them off and then put them right here with these two. So just pat them dry. Dry out the middle. All right, and then he's ready for the frying pan. Right there. So now we're just gonna do this last one, and then we'll get back to you guys once we're in the kitchen and ready to cook them. I right, guess we're ready to just cook up the fish right here. We have them all cleaned up and laying out on the <coughs> plate right here. So what we're gonna do is just gonna dip them in egg. Get them nice and coated. Then right into this seasoned flour. Get it all over it. Make sure it's coated nicely. Get a little bit in the middle. Get the whole fish. And that one is ready to go, so we're just going to do that to all four, and then we'll get back to you. Alright guys, so the butter's melting in the pan. we got all the fish floured and seasoned. We're just waiting on this butter to completely melt, and then we're going to toss them in. When we cook them, we just want to get them all nice and crispy brown on the outside. Once the butter's almost melted, we'll get back to you when all the fish are in the pan. <clears throat> alright, all the fish are cooking up right now. We're just waiting for them to get nice and crispy. Alright guys, so we're just flipping them now. The butter's getting a little too hot, but it'll be fine. Gonna flipping them, they're getting nice and crispy on the outside though. I can see it flaking off in the middle. So. This side's nice and good, and once the other side's done, then we're gonna uh, take them off and eat them. They're looking good so far. Just a few more minutes, and then we'll try them out. They're looking and smelling very good, guys. Not too much longer. 
Alright guys, these are done. They look good. Both sides are nice and crispy and the meat is flaking, so we're gonna take them off and then we'll get to eat. Just get them all off. Woohoo, that's hot. the last one guys so we're gonna let them cool for a minute <clears throat> and then uh, we'll get to eating they look very good all right guys so the fish is all cooked and cooled so now we're gonna try it and I'll show you guys the uh, look at that just gorgeous flakes all right so I'm gonna try it now here we go it's a good piece That is delicious. That is absolutely delicious. The skin is nice and crispy and the meat is just cooked perfectly. And it doesn't have a fishy taste to it at all. The seasoning on the outside is awesome. I would definitely do this again. Yeah, that is delicious. You can see the consistency when you break into the fish is just gorgeous. Nice white flaky and it has no fishy taste it is very good I would definitely recommend you guys try this if you can and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep eating here right. so the thing is is that you can eat these things whole so you don't waste any meat because the bones are very small but also the meat just comes right off the bones when you eat it you can see that's one rib cage and this side is completely clean and have the whole other side of the fish to go to. So I'll show you guys once I eat all the meat off this fish. I'll show you, it just leaves the bones that, and that's it. No meat. Alright guys, I'm gonna make this quick because it's pretty buggy out, but um, overall this was a great success. Um, the fish was delicious, it was fun to catch. I would highly recommend you doing this if you can. Um, here we have a five fish limit, but I only kept four. Let a couple of small ones go. It just weren't worth eating. But, um, yeah, check this out. Look at this. Complete bones get all the meat. And, uh, if you get enough of them, they make a good meal. So, that's that. And, um, I'm going to start posting more since it's summer. Start putting out more videos because I really want to. I really want to use this channel. Um, so that pretty much sums up this video so I'll get back to you guys when uh, we do something else if you guys want me to do, do anything let me know um, but other than that we'll see you next time